Welcome back, my friends, to Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Last time, I remember, we've taken care of the quote-unquote fake Dragon Master of Lan Island. And we've learned that Jessica doesn't remember Facia, and now there's a new problem that's involving singers. They're being kidnapped, but that reason is unknown and unclear as to why. But we shall figure that out pretty soon. As we are going to head back to Vane. We've got to remember this place here. We've got to remember this place for Lady. The fish here is to die for. Can you think about something besides your stomach? Sheesh! Oh, come on, man. That's my sidekick. He pumps out the joke so that I don't have to. <laughs> anyway, we're actually going to head back to, um, to Vane. And all we have to do is just straight shot it. As we are going through the Nonza Barrier yet again. They're not gonna mess with me now because I'm I'm that I'm that much powerful now. Of course I had to take on another boss, I mean another encounter. Thank you for hitting me! I'm confused, but not that confused to kick somebody's ass. We're just going to have one encounter as we just go through this area. So, here we are heading back to Nanta. Heal. Now we have to head back the same way we came. If, if that means we have to fight, we're going to have to fight. is will I do the remake of Eternal Blue? Yes. I will eventually have to do the remake of Eternal Blue. From what I remember, somewhat a bit harder than um It's somewhat a bit harder than the original. So it's a bit of a challenge, but not too much of a challenge. Check this out. Push back. <laughs> 
The only game I'm not going to do is Dragon Song. Because from what I from what I was told, the combat system is terrible. And again, I blame I blame um you know what I just said, Ubisoft. I blame Ubisoft for that because you know the game was handed the game was handed to uh, from okay so. Nash learns matchbox. But the thing is Yeah, Nash learns matchbox. But the thing I have to say is when you make a good game I mean the thing is Lunar is one of those games that can be rated as one of the most one of the very few great RPGs of all time. It's right up there with Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, Chronicles of Dark Lord. It's held as one, it's, it's hailed as one of the most memorable RPGs ever known. For good reason too. Check this out. Yeah. Well, Lunar Dragon Song, even though it is a bit canon, or supposedly canon, it's like this. Harmony is before, Harmony is like before Lunar, Lunar 1. Dragon Song is before Lunar 1. And even Walking School or Magic School, Lunar Magic School, is before Lunar 1. All these three games have one thing in common. They're all before the first game. But the problem is, like I said, Harmony's problem was they focused too much on this version. They should have made... I mean, to me, it's like this. Silver Star Harmony would have worked if they stuck with the four heroes. If the game was mainly about the four heroes which were dying... Lemia, Mel, and Galleon? I would have no problem with that. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't have no problem with that. But when you, but when you do something like that, like, oh, uh, well, let's see. We're gonna make a remake of a remake of a remake of a remake of a remake and a remake. Check this out. Because I mean, that don't make sense. I know I probably said in the last version, uh, in the last part, but. I don't like that, you know? It's like this. You're not really usually saying, oh, well, this is what happened before Lunar 1. And all I say is, okay, and... That's all I say, and... I say, if you stuck with... If you stuck with this, make a prequel. Make one song prequel, but don't make... A prequel, which is a prequel to this, which is a prequel to this. That's why I, I, I can't get behind the prequels. Because you have three to deal with. You have Walking School, Dragon, Dragon Song, and Harmony. 
It's prequel-ish into now. It's like, well, you know, it, I said, there's a lot that can be said. Yeah. Okay, so it might do this, but you have to think about it like that. Um, well... Well, it was about this. Because I can say Harmony was... A prequel remake. And again, I can't get behind that. I'm sorry. There's no way I can get behind that. I mean, I love the series. Don't get me wrong. I love Lunar. It will always be my favorite RPG. But I cannot accept the fact that, you know, you make two prequels that have little to do about the main game. Or if you got, I mean, if you're gonna make it a prequel, the only thing I can say is, okay, one story had, had something to do with the Beastmen and the Vile Tribe. Okay, that's canonical to Lunar, Lunar 1. Because the Vile Tribe was indeed a threat, but, there, but it's not as bad as the Magic Emperor himself. He was a bigger threat than the uh, Vile Tribe itself. Check this out. Hate I said I don't hate the game. I hate what they did to it. You know, I, I really do hate what they did to it after the remakes. Antolion. I know what they were trying to say, Antorian, but it's Antlion. Antorian. Antolion. It's the little things, you know. The little things that I kind of notice that I don't notice when I'm just playing this by myself. Or, you know, when I, when I was younger, you know, I played it because I love Luna. But now as I'm older, I start thinking, oh, you know, why did they do this? Free hill, please. Now, back to Vane. Wait. The spring has been used to travel here between here and Vane for centuries. My father got the spring as did his father and his father's father. So here we are.
I have to hurry to the Magic Guild. Galleon will expect a full report. Why don't you meet me there after you've had a chance to look around the city? Good idea, Nash. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Actually, I can just look and see if they have anything new. Fruity Band. <laughs> Very colorful. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll, we'll get this. But I'm not going to use it. Let's see, next one I'm going to do... Oh. I was going, I was going to get, um, some starlights. I think I need some starlights here. Hello, are you the latest batch of students from the Magic Guild? How can I help you? Let's see. Got a devil pendant which increased magic resistance, but fuck that price! A crystal pendant which increases spiritual power, but also fuck that price! So I'm just gonna pick up um, a lot of starlight stuff. That'll do. Yeah, that's definitely going to do. Trust me, that's going to help us in the long run. Now, let's take a look in the... Uh, in the library and read some of the books around here. Vane serves as, a, as both a place of magic and an airborne guardian of the goddess Athena. Of course, the day will never come when the home of the goddess is besieged by evil. Lies. No mere human is allowed to enter Althena's tower and gaze upon the goddess herself. That honor is reserved exclusively for the Dragon Master. And oh my, does it get full access. <laughs> a small number of magicians believe that Althena has entered into a sleep of sorts, but are unsure as to when or if she will reawaken. Alex, someone hid money in this book school! Ten silver, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, mm -hmm. Magic is the stuff that holds, Magic is the stuff that created our world and, and which holds it together. There must also be magic in the sea and the sky. See, it's so much interesting when you have Luna with you. Because you won't be having that when, um, when, um, later. Name any Dragon Master, and you can hear a hundred different tales of their incredible adventures. Leon, the mighty Gale, who fought his foes with the blinding force of Hurricane. See, I wouldn't mind if I w if there were characters like that. It's like, okay, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a pre prequel to Lunar, a proper pre -quick, a proper pre -quick, a proper prequel, a proper prequel with. Former Dragon Master that you never heard of before. So where did that come from? Vain. Gull, the Iron Hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his granite fist. Alicia and Leticia, twin sisters who proved that two is better than one. For everything else. 
Nato, the singing swordsman who often burst into song while decimating his enemies. Hmm. He burst into Mitch dying right away isn't worth reading, right, Alex? That's a hint, yo. The mysterious disappearance and presumed death of Dragon Master dying occurred 15 years ago. But the countless theories and endless speculation about what really happened continues unabated. The last person seen with dying, Master Galleon, refuses to speak about the Dragon Master. Some think it is out of respect for his fallen friend, others believe Galleon has something to hide. Yeah, it's just like those Legend of Zelda theories. Those game theorists, man. It's like, oh, let me just... It's like, dude, I don't care! I wanna play the game, I don't wanna hear a goddamn discussion about the fucking game! Shit! The same spells cast by two magicians will have a slightly different appearance and effect. Magic is, is as unique to each person as his face or his or her fingerprints. His or her face or his or her fingerprints. Once it says up here, the blue star is colder than the coldest heart. A barren orb encased within a thick layer of ice. And again... I I'm harping on this. My apologies, but I'm really harping on this. They could have made a Lunar 3 based off that. What happened after Eternal Blue? And you want to make a prequel? Tell what really happened before Alex's time, you know? Like, okay, how did Dying go through all the stuff that Alex is going through, you know? That sort of thing. You know, I want, I really want to see a proper Lunar game being done correctly. It's like, I want to see the before and I want to see the after. So it can, you know, make sense. So it can flow with the whole story. Not just, oh, we're going to make a story here and we're going to make a story there. Now, this is before Lunar. And um, we're just going to make a story. I was wasting goddamn time, you know. We have always, we've yet to understand why the blue star always shows us the same face. I don't get it either. And there's nothing here, nothing to read. The power of magic is never to be underestimated and never to be abused, just like being a gamer. In the hands of an expert, magic is far deadlier than the mightiest sword. Okay, that's the same thing. The goddess Athena is blessed with the gift of immortality. Forever will she protect, guide, and cherish us. Let's see. Can I read on here? Dragon magic is perhaps the most powerful magic of all. It can, but it can be only, but it can be used only by the one who proves worthy of protecting the goddess. You can read this book a hundred times over. You can study the history of magic for decades. But unless and until you use magic in a combat situation, you'll never know the, the true extent of your skill. It's like equipping a weapon. Make sure you equip it before you go on about. Otherwise, you will get knocked the hell out. The Dragon Master is granted the use of the Dragon Armor, which is imbued with special magic. Only a skilled Dragon Master has the ability to call upon that magic. And she wants it. Gali is the most voracious reader in all of vain, but Mia also is a close second. It's no coincidence that the best magicians in the Magic Guild are the, are the ones who read the most. I agree. Let's see, um, can I read this? No, that's volume three. The Vol Tribe was a band of foul creatures which knew only of hate and destruction. Without the intervention of the gods, they would have had their wicked way with our world. When our force was newborn, 
Oh, went on force. When our world was newborn, an evil force called the Vile Tribe tried to conquer it. They were banished by the goddess to a far, to the faraway frontier at the edge of our world. The Vile Tribe has not been seen since, leading me to conclude that they have died out. Oh, how wrong they are. When the goddess shaped our planet, not even her enormous power could reach the distant frontier. And so it remained a wasteland even as the world around it blossomed forth with new life. Hey, they chose they chose to be like that, so nothing you do. Let's see. As they embraced, Jane's heaving bosom firmly pressed upon John's manhood. John's hands worked their way to the petals of Jane of Jane's sweet rose. That's it! I don't think things are file this is the wrong library! <laughs> I hope that came on camera, I swear! And I don't mean it like that! I hope, I really hope, I really pray that that, that was heard on camera, right there. I'm gonna be pissed as a motherfucker if I don't hear that shit. Overconfidence! <laughs> this is the greatest enemy of a student of magic or anyone of that caliber. Attempting to cast a spell without completely understanding it inevitably leads to disaster. Just like being a video game or anybody else. Don't know how to play the game? <sighs> it's like playing tabletop simulator. You don't really need a you don't need a tutorial to play the game, although it helps. But if you already know how to play the game, all you just need to know is the controls. Althea Sour is where the goddess makes her home in our world. She looks down upon her children and smiles down at us. At the edge of the world is a region where the blue star has never shone and where the touch of the goddess has never been felt. Oh my. Intermediate magic spells. Volume 8. Goodbye to grass stains! Oh god. The dragon master utilizes the power of his own magic and of the dragons to protect the goddess from harm. And to, and to maintain peace in our world, he is the ambassador of all humanity. We owe our health, our wealth, and our very existence to the goddess. She cannot be praised enough. Sounds like God. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 2, Spirit of Water. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume uh, Volume 1, Spirit of Fire. Volume 2, Spirit of Water. Dragon Magic is the ultimate combination of heart, mind, and soul. To witness dragon magic is to witness a sorcery with strength and equal to the goddess herself. Volume 3. Beginner's Guide to Magic, Spirit of the Sky. The frontier is a sprawling wasteland on the outskirts of our world. No one brave or foolish enough to venture into the frontier has ever returned. This world was a dead star until it was touched by the goddess. Where there was darkness, she brought light. And where there was death, she brought life. Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 4, Hang on to Now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Yes, we are getting somewhere. Ride a broom in three days. What? Guarantee the work or you'll suffer an incredibly painful fall. What? One popular folk remedy for a headache is to paste a fillet of pickled fish onto one's forehead. While repeatedly chanting, I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus. What the fuck? Perhaps unsurprisingly, this does not work. I'm certain it doesn't. According to legend, we once lived on the blue star. But no one knows how or why we now live in this world. 
I wonder if that's why it feels so strange when I look at the blue star. Possibly. If magic disappeared from our world, it would become a place of chaos and death. Oh man, this book is great. It says that the that the Dragon Master commands the power of the four enormous dragons. Yes, we have our establishments. You become the Dragon Master by entering each dragon cave and passing their trials. But the catch is that no one knows where the dragons are. Good way to screen out the pretenders, huh? I guess that means you're a contender, Alex! Welcome to the Guild Library. We have, we have books on every aspect of magic and every subject known to mankind. Fortunately, with all the new volumes we received, it's hard, to tell, it's hard to keep track of them all. Do you children need work? I'm always looking for alphabetizers. I bet they have all kinds of neat stuff in here, Alex. But where do we start? We've already read them all, no. We've already read them all. <clears throat> so it is now time for us to make ourselves present account for as we go into the Magic Guild. Lemia is ready to meet you. Wait for her at the rear of the Grand Hall. Alex, you must behave with the utmost respect in the presence of Lemia. I'm serious. I mean, that she's going to give us a reward, Alex. And I could tra could I trade it for fish? No, we're not going to do that. Well. I think it's now time to meet. Wait, what? Um. Mia? My mother has called a meeting in the Grand Hall. I wonder what she plans to discuss. I'm sorry, so sudden, but she seems to hold every conference like this lately. Nash gave me a full report of what happened in mine. There's great power within you, boy. As much power as dying possesses you. This is the Grand Hall of the Magic Guild of the Vein. You're actually timed on this, by the way. It used to be a place of democracy, and now it's a place for Lemia to issue her latest rash decree. With two of the four year olds in the roster of the Magic Guild, of Ranks have never been stronger. Uh -huh. Watch what you say to Lumia. There's no telling how she'll react. When an outsider like Royce can claim such authority in the guild, something is very wrong. It was wonderful. Mia smiled at me today. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. I wish she would smile more often. It always brightens my day. It's been a long time since Lemia met with anyone in the Great Hall. She must have been extremely impressed with your success in land. I knew we'd get some kind of reward, Alex! I just hope mine is a giant plate of fish and chips. I'm so curious about what the world below Vane is like. Perhaps someday I'll be able to experience it, my experience it for myself. Mother's coming. Please line up off of there. <clears throat> Step forth, Alex of Berg. regard in your eyes, and I sense something else. I sense evil. 
You seek to destroy the Magic Guild and Althena. What? You see? The boy says nothing! I'm a, I'm a quote unquote silent protagonist. I'm not supposed to say nothing. Because he cannot deny what he knows to be true. What are you talking about? What is going on? Gods! Throw this action into the dungeon at once and execute him for treason in the morning. What the fuck is going on? Keep the girl here for now. I have special plans for her. What the fuck? Alex! Get your dirty hands off me! Stop and let him go! Screaming, screaming will achieve nothing. Here in vain, the word of Limia Olsa is law. Don't waste your breath on that little wife, Gabby. Take her to the appointed area. As you wish, Limia. Mona! Alex! I claim bullshit in the name of bullshit. As you can tell. Yeah, I smell it. It is the scent of bullshit. And it's not because it's 5 a.m. in the morning here. So we can't really do anything. We're just stuck here. Sounds so familiar. Hey, Alex, are you okay? I'm so sorry, Alex. I'll let you out of here right now. <laughs> Mia, let me hide out in her bedroom. Lucky cat. Such an awful place. Please forgive me, Alex. My mother used to be so warm and wonderful, but now. <laughs> Don't cry, Mia. Of course, Alex forgives you. Now let's go find Luna, please. Alex, I want you to look at this. Althena's mirror. The mirror shows things as they really are, Alex. It reflects only the truth. It's called Althena's Mirror. We've established that, Mia. I've been wondering if my mother is really the same woman she's always been. I know for I, I know for a fact this is bullshit, but for those who are watching this first time, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Or if something has invaded or poisoned her soul. I was too afraid to know the truth, so I couldn't use this. <coughs> but I'm ready to use it now. Please take me with you, Alex. It's my duty to learn the truth about my mother. Even if I have a difficult time accepting what I find. Of course you can come, Mia. Now that's the Alex I know! Let's go save Luna! But I guess we need to figure out where Olimia took her first, you know, Mia? I'm afraid not. My mother often disappears from the guild, but I don't know where to. <gasps> the Vile Tribe! What the- I, I saw the Vile Tribe over there. I saw them. I saw them. Uh, Alex, the voice is muffled, but it's very familiar. There's a bad smell coming out of this cell, Alex. This prisoner's been in here for quite a while. And now she's wearing a, a magical device. 
It's just a block memories. The girl forbid it, forbid their use many years ago. Who would do something so cruel? Uh, that was right. Ah, uh, that's never. Of all time, did they do this terrible thing to you? What exactly is a vile tribe? My mother told me that they are a race of evil creatures. The gods of the Anabash them to the edge of our world several hundred years ago. I've never heard of anyone called the Magic Emperor. The Magic Emperor! The Star Chamber! That's it. My mother forbade me from entering the Star Chamber. She scolded me the last time I even mentioned it to her. There's no data bags! That's gotta be where they held in Luna Prison! Let's go! Wait, we can't leave this poor woman here alone. Let's bring her with us. The sword chamber is on the highest floor of the Crystal Tower. And the entrance is the door to the is to the east of the Grand Hall. Alex, none of these are going to be open! This is a prison! Have you heard rumor that the guys at the end no longer lives in the tower? I was discussing it with a friend when Limia overheard me and now I was sentenced 20 years down here. I never felt hatred for anyone the way I feel for her. What I got you out know, here for, buddy? My crime? I made the mistake of asking Limia also why she's been acting so strangely. I'm mean, so sorry. Mia, you don't have to apologize for what your mother is doing. Don't mind us, we're just walking through. It's not as bad as Walmart. I was like, oh yeah, you're escaping the room, we're gonna go, we're gonna go catch you! Mia, you're going to Star Chamber, aren't you? Nash, you're a member of the Magic Guild. You don't obey my mother's orders. I could be executed, I know. And I know the same could happen to you. I'm the next leader of the Magic Guild. It's my duty to find out what's going on. And it's my duty as a member of the Magic Guild to assist my future leader. And my... <clears throat> Ash? But I, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out of duty, Mia. I want to go because I. What, Nash? Because I'm sure that Luna is being held in that chamber. Besides, I don't want Alex to be the only one who looks cool. So let's go! Thank you, Nash. By the way, Nash, I got a little something for you. You're in good health. So, the Star Chamber is up next. In the name of the goddess Athena, I banish the magical seal placed upon this door. Let's hurry before someone finds out what we're up to. Oh, this place! No, it's what you're 
I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? The Crystal Tower is a holy place blessed with special magic by Athena herself. Only the Dragon Master himself can enter with armaments in place. We can only fight with magic? That's not gonna be easy. Hawks is much better of a sword than with magic, but I guess we have but we don't have I guess we don't have a choice. Yes, in this place you cannot, and I repeat, cannot use weapons here. Yes, the only way you can actually get through this place is you have to be without weapons. Now, by record, now by record, um, Mia is a very powerful mage. If you haven't really, if you haven't figured that out, she is so damn powerful. Plus, she also has Ice Shell, Raging Blizzard, the Ice Lens, which you already saw, and Flame Circle. Check this out. Yep, she's that damn powerful. And I'll exchange the level. So you thought the magic? So you thought the um the trial of vain was a challenge? This is gonna be more of a challenge. Because for the most part, we're going to have to fight unarmed. Check this out. to punch you in the face. Like the power of Athena. Yes, Alex, punched him in the face. Me with a slam, a slam fist like. What? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be real interesting because the entire time I'm going through this dungeon, I gotta fight. For the most part, bare hand. Check 
Well, let's look at it this way. You can just say, when I was like your age, I actually punched enemies in the face. They didn't like it. But they got whipped. Nash, the only person standing, ladies and gentlemen, he took out a fireball with only his bare hands. No, I don't want to save. No, I didn't want to get... Second half, I am... Uh, when we get to the second half, I'm going to be using healing nuts. I really am going to be using healing nuts, so... Starlight. For the most part, I'm just gonna have to <laughs> choke every one of these sons of bitches out, you know? Just about me. Just about. in here. More monies. I 
think Alice can move really, really fast. Don't want to mess with him. Like, oh shit, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Check this out. Now I do it. So what's in here? More money. Wonderful. Very easy to get confused in this place. <sighs> Check this out. I'm sorry. You're trying to hit her? Check this out. Back. I've been through there. Whoa. from remembering her, her identity, Alex. And who 
how does Luna's song have the power to restore her memory? I think we'll find out the answers when we reach the Star Chamber. And for the sake, just in case, I'm gonna save here. <clears throat> Land Island's already dealt with, so I save. See if I can equip. No, I can't quit. So I can't equip nothing since it's holy. I'm like, oh, really? Right. Okay, fine, fine. We'll just go in here. Bye, y'all. Patience, Aphia. Let her continue to sing. Hmm. How many more of these girls will we have to capture until we find the one we need? This part just lag like I don't know what. Luna! Mother! Mia, what is the meaning of this intrusion? How dare you interrupt the sacred ceremony of the Magic Guild? Alex! Oh, Alex, I'm so glad you're right! These people have been forcing me to sing their evil songs. They told me that they'd kill you if I didn't. Are you alright, Luna? If any of these barbarians hurt you! Mother, this is madness! You have to stop, please! I've shown you nothing but leniency and, forgave and forgiveness. For your delinquent behavior. I don't know why the music is skipping like that. And this is how you repay me? By releasing my prisoner and disrupting a sacred ritual. Your punishment shall be swift and brutal, my wretched little offspring. And your friend's death shall be even more merciless. No! Galleon, the time has come. Help us complete the ritual. Well... You're not my mother, you're a fraud! My real mother would never speak to me as you've... Oh, my dear Mia. Your every word further seals your fate. Shine, Mary, shine! Show all the true soul of this imposter! The mirror of Athena. <laughs> you dishonor the Ulster dynasty, little one. Oh, what have you done to the mirror? You should have shown your true form. I refuse to believe that you are really my mother. It's impossible. You simply can't... Mia... My dear... Mia... Do not 
not mourn, my daughter. I am here for you. Mother! The gentle light shining forth from Althena's mirror has awakened me and liberated me from the curse of this sorceress. Sorceress? You know, the fake over there. Whatever are you babbling about, you pathetic imposter? Galleon, dispose of these nuisances at once! I think not, Lemia. Oh, that face! I think you've been revealed as the fraudulent witch! You are! What? I can't believe I was completely deceived by your cheap trick. How dare you betray my trust and attempt to overthrow the magic guilt? <laughs> then the time for revelation has come to pass sooner rather than later. seen your demise. Too bad you had to get involved. We didn't expect you to get this far, young Alex. It's been quite a revelation. But you never can tell when luck like yours will run out. We are the misfits. <laughs> We're making mischief. We're making mischief. Making mischief. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Our plan to seize control of the guild almost worked. Now you've cut our now you've cut our glorious plan. You'll pay dearly for this insurrection. Save your feeble victory while you can. The Magic Emperor will form a new world order, but the vile tribe has its rulers. How dare you! I foresee another round of deception in your future. Our paths will shall cross again. Then our, our paths shall cross then, infidels. Boss fight! You know they're playing that music. Or ultra goils. By the power of Athena. Yeah, hit me, you jackass. Just have them just like this. Heal. Check this 
them. And continuously fuck them up. Thanks a lot, Ash. Blown them up like so, they'll fall. There we go. Continually heal and just. Use explosion staff, Frankel, Frankel song, and flame circle. You're done here. Well, I found their weakness a bit too late, but I had to use something that didn't take too much magic. gains a level. Quite possibly it'll be the last level she will ever get throughout the rest of the game. Allow me to apologize. All this time, I have been unknowingly manipulated by the Violet Tribe. I am ashamed for being so easily deceived. I'm still worried about my mother. Let's return to the Magic Guild. And then I proceeded to the Star Chamber, as Zenobia Lemia instructed me to do. How foolish of me not to realize what was transpiring. I still don't understand why the Vile Tribe was trying to achieve by doing all this. What did they have to gain by assuming my mother's identity, or by abducting Luna? It's quite obvious that we need to know more, Mia. Although I certainly have my own ideas. I feel the Vile Tribe is on the verge of declaring war. Zenelby and the others were placed among us to gather crucial uh, intelligence. Now is the time for definite action to counter the damage they have done. I must leave Vain and gather information of my own. Not just to stop the Vile Tribe. Majesty Mia, but for other more pressing reasons as well. 
And the only way I can gather this information is from the four dragons themselves. Since the location of the white dragon is already known, I shall visit him first. Gal, you want to visit Quark? Perhaps Quark's wisdom holds the clue I need to discern what the Vile Tribe is plotting, Alice. And I would ask that you guide me to him immediately. You don't mind, do you, Alex? Of course not. Alex would be honored to take you there. That's great. This is great, Alex. We get to shoot. We get to go home and show how one of four heroes. <laughs> May I, since your mother has yet to recover from the effects of that dreadful mask, I believe you should take her place as the guild master until she is fit to resume her duties. Yes, Galleon, you're right. But I will need Nash to assist me until your return. If that's acceptable to both you and Nash, of course. Acceptable? It's wonderful! It would be my humble honor to help you in any way possible. Of course, Mia. I place Nash at your disposal. His work for me has been most satisfactory. I must speak with Master Mel to arrange my transportation to Caldor Isle. So then we shall meet in Merebius shortly. Do not dawdle, Alex. After all, you know what they say about idle hands. Alex, I still haven't thanked you enough for helping me to rescue for helping me to rescue my mother. And now I have to thank you for taking Galleon to the cave of the White Dragon. Mia, how could Alex possibly say no to someone as cute as, nice and cute as you? <laughs> no, are you sure it's Alex who thinks Mia's cute? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, we need to hurry to Belle's mansion. And with that, I need to re-equip my sword. So, now's a good time to leave this place. Like so. And take ourselves back to Morabia. So I can get a full heal there. Like so. And I think now's a good time to stop here. And in the next part, we're going back to Galdor Isle and do a bit of an escort mission. When Lunar and Silver Star story complete continues right after this. Stay tuned.